quickest route to the surge is due east, past the second galley. Shula, how did these ships come to be here? What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Really, brother, did you have to ask? Tonbury. Foul creatures consumed by their hatred for everyone and everything. Everything, save the sharp knives, it seems. Smell the sea. It's not far now. How will we reach the surge? We'll follow the coastline north. There's a bridge that'll take us across to the cave. I inquire about the ray of light. It's what prevents the surge from being reclaimed by the sea. And Walius by his people. You said before that the child is bound within the surge. But you've yet to tell us how we're meant to reach him. I trust we won't have to hold our breath. No. The surge wraps around the cape without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip, there is a path down to the seabed. And the wave's origin. All right. It won't be the first dominant we've met at the bottom of the ocean.
not much further now. The path seems well kept. Do you and the villagers often come this way? Only me. Once every new moon without fail. It is my duty both as village elder and Walius's descendant. But surely no one blames you for what happened. Why should you bear the responsibility alone? You misunderstand. I do it because I want to. To show him that he isn't alone, and that there are still some of us who would see an end to his suffering. Suffering you will soon witness with your own eyes. The forest grows quickly here. Left unattended, the path would be reclaimed in a matter of moods. Does the light point the way to the child? It does indeed. the droplets of water suspended in midair where they have remained untouched by time for 80 summers it's it's not right no it's not there up ahead Down in the centre. Follow me. He's still primed. I'll never forget my first priming. The fear. And I was old enough to understand what was happening. One can only imagine how this poor child felt. He is the victim of an unforgivable sin. Committed by people who saw him as nothing but a means to an end. He must be so frightened. Then I'll ease his burden. You don't mean... I'm not going to hurt him. Contrary to the tales, I don't go around killing dominance for no reason. What if I told you there was a way to remove Wallace's icon? I tell you, you were a madman. It's hard to believe, I know. But it can be done. Though... It isn't without his risks. Part of the icon remains no matter what. So, it might still come to violence? I don't know. It depends on the dominant. I've seen things end well, and I've seen things spiral out of control. But I do know one thing. If we turn our backs on this child, there will be no end to his suffering. And I think that a worse fate than the alternative. Don't you? Very well. Do what you must. And whatever happens, I will own the consequences. Don't be afraid, little one. Let me bear the weight.
I think so. I can feel the icon inside me. But something's wrong. Leviathan! Right, just an egg, but a formidable adversary nonetheless. <laughs> Is everyone all right? He seems calmer now. You said Walius was frozen in time. That he knew we were here. How? 
I... I don't know. He's never reacted to anything or anyone. Until now. The child has been bound for nigh on a century. If he has been conscious from the first, we must remove the seal at once. It's not that simple. I wish it were, but... There's more to this tale. It would be better if I explained back at the village. I see. Then let's return before it gets dark. I'm sorry, Walias. I will make this right. So, part of Leviathan is inside you now, is it? Does it hurt? No. Not anymore, anyway. Good. Because I still have need of your strength. If you want to know the rest, we should head to the Witten Hall. Of course.